people that were unaware of my rap history would now be like, why are you people calling this guy a rapper? This guy is not a rapper. This guy is not, you know, a lot of comparisons. When somebody one time said, me Okun has more punchlines than YC. <laughs> I was just feeling like, you know... Like, just, you have not been a rapper for a while. Yeah. And then you dropped that. I felt like the disrespect was becoming too much. You know, like... As like from, from, from hip-hop circles? No, from like, everybody on social media, you know, like... Because, I think people that were very, very familiar with my music before blowing, you know, I used to put out a lot of rap music. Like, yeah. almost every week I used to do like a series. Um, what do you call it? The Declaration series and some stuff like that, yeah. I used to put out like covers, a lot of covers and stuff, you know, very conscious music and all that. So, when I became commercially successful, I was like, ah, Mona, yeah, we could die. And, you know, <laughs> a lot of people started getting, you know, angsty. Then, people that were unaware of my rap history would now be like, why are you people calling this guy a rapper? This guy is not a rapper. This guy is not, you know, a lot of comparisons. When somebody one time said, me, Okun has more punchlines than YC. <laughs> How did that make you ah, feel? I, swear, I just, ah, I was like, but well, me is my guy, but I was just like, ah, it's in my life outside. <laughs> so, I think when I made Balance, yeah, I didn't even know what I wanted to do with the song because I mean, at that time I was in the studio with Elmo, he produced the record. Yeah. And as soon as I heard that beat, I was like, ah, ah. Like, I don't know what this is, but I like it and I want to, you know, I want to boss. And I just I started working on it and in like two hours, we wrapped up the song. I was just listening to it. And I, I remember- Was it a freestyle? No, nah, it wasn't. It was written, but you know, it didn't, more or less a freestyle, but you know, someone came into the studio and he was like, ah, who vex you? It's in like, why are you? And I was just like, ah, yeah, that's how I rap. Because most times that's like me on the track, no chorus, just from beginning to end. That was my best, you know, that was me at my best. So, I think January, my birthday was on the 29th. Uh, we shot the video in December, just, you know, one of those situations where you, you have the equipment, you're just like, let's just shoot this video. So we shot the video, and in January, I was like, ah, my birthday, come on, do I, we'll just give them this balance. You know, shot some people up. <laughs> and so I put it out, and like you said, you wanted more. Everybody started asking for yeah. more. I was like, oh. So I built a new team. No, that, that's, that's the thing, you know, there's, there's work. Like, next year I'm going to put out two projects, two EPs, you know. One strictly for, like, the hip-hop balance type music. So, yeah. But that, that's why I didn't really like rapping. Because anytime I rap now, people now go, you know, my neck say I should well, rap, 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 rap. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, you don't get to give people quality and then say, oh. I'm going to I'm going to the dub it down, give it, bro. Yeah. You, you know the problem. Man. I think I wasn't even expecting that much feedback. Reception. Yeah, that it, much yeah. reception exactly because you know in this current climate where everybody is just like oh more big body, yeah, you know that's what I want to hear, I want to dance. So initially I was on two minds about the balance record because a lot of people are like ah more this one man, you know are you sure people are going to accept it? You know it sounds too foreign. This that I just like more it's my birthday at the end of the day, so take. And it, it did like you know, really well, so that also even gingered me like that song. I will still come out. So as of, I think as of right now, you know, just have to December they come. So <laughs> was that one of the reasons why you dropped your album in November? Nah, man. I think the album I was have come out a long time ago. Yeah, you said it. Like, I was have come out a long time ago, but I think post production, you know, getting the right mix, having to deal with those leaks and all that stuff. I think for me, mixing and matching is like the most stressful part of wrapping up music because it's like there's some little little mistakes that you might send a record and when they send it back and there's a mistake you have to send it back to them they have to like you know start again so mixing and mastering took like a while but you know we're finally able to get here okay i get i get what you're saying i think for me you know we track this initially yeah I was thinking of a way to split both sides, but at the same time I was like the rap side and the yeah. Side. But at the same time I was like, if I split these two sides now, I know some people will just listen to only one side. We <laughs> 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 still listen. Yeah, trust me. Like there's someone that tweeted yesterday and he was like, he deleted all the singing, 
and he, he left all the right and i was like well for me i just why i did that one after the other because like i wanted people to get to you know feel the like it's yc versus a hair so it's like a you punch i punch you punch i punch you know but i get what you're saying like with the dynamics you know but like this is that's that's one of the good things about myself and criticism you know i'm always like i'm always open to it and it's not a situation where you tell me you don't like my album go always for you at the junction <laughs> are you firing shots as a <laughs> I don't know if anybody has gone to wait for anybody at the junction before. <laughs> has anybody done that? No comment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah, I mean, for me, it's my first album, man. You know, I've been taking all good comments, you know, not yeah. so good comments to the pinch of so I said, okay, this is how you feel about this. This is what you like. Okay, this is what you okay. So, you know, subsequently, like with every project, it will get better. Mm. Well, to be fair, putting together that work eh, is, a, is a lot of work. But I personally, I'm a very stubborn person. Like when I'm in the studio, like my manager knows. Like they tell me, why see, try this thing. I just dilly dally small when nobody's looking i'll still do the one that's in my mind mm. so like us creatives are you know naturally very stubborn and i think a lot of my colleagues don't understand that not everybody will like your music mm. it's not like it's it's not possible mm. there's no artist in this world that will say every single person that has ever listened to their music likes it because you know, music varies, like, it's very subjective, it's a very subjective art form, so, you know, if this person likes it, good, if this person doesn't like it, you know, find out why they don't like it and mm. see, if it's something you can work on, work on it, if it's something you can't work on, that your music is not for this person, doesn't mean that the, pro the, the content itself is bad, so like me, I've already had that in the back of my mind, Almo, this thing, because see Jagaband that changed my life. I remember the first time I performed there at Lauren Hills concert. Somebody came online and I was like, who is this YZ guy and why does he have a song YZ. called Jagaband? Like he should go and look for a new career. And I remember because that was when, when the song was like, you know, still growing. And I was like, ah, is this song not really good? What if all these people that say it's good, they're lying to me and all that stuff. So I just understood that people are different. You know, there's, there are things that I like that you won't like and there are things that people like and i'm like why do you like this mm. so it's like music is very subjective you can't kill yourself for every person that doesn't like your shit mm. besides <laughs> label issues <laughs> i think yeah um that the funny thing about that one is you know there's actually an older video because at the time in 2017 i had a show in cyprus and you know we we're there for a few extra days and we're just like, what do we do, you know? So we had a camera at our disposal and we shot a video for it, like zero viral charge. Video. Hmm? Viral video. And it was supposed to be a viral video, but by the time we saw the end product, it was like, oh man, this video, ah, Clarence, we don't do pass like this. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> so, you know, presented it to the label and I think there was another issue clearing the song from the producer because the producer that the chorus of that one was actually written by Chris Beats. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah. And I, I think that's that's the only time that someone has ever written, you know, something that I sang. Because I remember when I was in the studio that the first time we were working and I don't know, maybe he didn't know how to tell me that ah I get this idea. So he just said it like I get this idea, sing on like this. So initially I was like mm. then when I heard what he sang I was like ah this thing makes sense. We feel like a good singer. So I sang it and it came out well. So obviously he's now a writer on the record. Mm. And you know, on this place he asks for what is obviously due to him. And, you know. I think some producers I paid, you know, like upfront and I still offer this place. Yeah, of course. Because, you know, I think the, the industry is changing. And another thing I realize is, you know, some of the producers that I work with, they don't even have publishing so it's like it was also an educational process for some of them because you know when you send a split and you know you're asking for like maybe the you know um publishing number prs or whatever and you know it's like oh what's this yes yeah, trust me and a lot of a lot of producers because 2019 yeah 
because a lot of people just feel like you know upfront payment is best and you know whatever happens in the future but you know me i've learned that even me myself i'm still even to this point i'm still there's still things i'm still learning about you know publishing and you know mechanical rights and all that stuff so i think one of the most important things that we need in this day and age is like education because a lot of people know certain things but just keep you know that knowledge to themselves and you know there are certain artists that you see on certain publications listed as producers of their own records and in those situations it's because maybe the producer doesn't know about publishing and you know maybe you get paid several hundred thousand and then when the song now pops you know publishing money is like publishing money is for life so it's like there's there's a lot of education and unlearning that needs to be done done in the industry because things have changed you know so i think for me i just personally i just wanted every producer to be comfortable okay what do you want you know if it's within my power to pay i'll be like, okay but if i can't i'll offer like maybe song you know okay i'll do a song for you and you know that kind so of there's a deal in place and, yeah. and contracts are signed oh oh Love is my religion. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in God, though, but religion, like in this day and age, is, is something that I find myself questioning almost every day. And you know, in this in Nigerian climate, people can see this interview now and say, "Oh, why is agnostic or is an atheist or any of that?" But I just feel like the concept of life itself is beyond human understanding. Mm. So the easiest thing you can do is live your life the best way you can. Mm. And that's just it. favorite song on the album right now is Vacancy. Before the album dropped, <laughs> my favorite song was Liar. But something that happened in my personal life. So, <laughs> you see if you love love, man. Ah, love is sweet, though. <laughs> <laughs> so anytime I started listening to Liar, I was just feeling very guilty, like, ah, oh, man. So I just had to just block out the song. So right now, Vacancy, ah, almost 10 to 20 times a day. I play. I play all the time. Anyhow. I size myself. I need to check my phone. Um, I'm listening to Peruzzi, Joe Boy, and Saz because you all dropped the same yeah. day. Uh, Grandson is like an alternative rock band. Yeah, Psycho YP, really? yeah. Alpha, David Do, Risky, G Easy, Scary Nights. Yeah. Fantastic. The album is out, everybody. YC vs. Zahir. YC vs. Zahir. Out on all streaming platforms, and I see people that are downloading from justniger.com. <laughs> How did you feel about that guy? Like, yeah, it's 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 like it's it's actually very painful because you know it's a different case where you put out one single and then you see it on blogs and it's like okay, but you know I think back then it, it bro, a lot of the blogs back then were quite ethical with their work because you see like maybe two exclusive or three sixty now at least if they put they won't put the whole album they put like two three songs, but these guys don't care. They put the whole thing from 1 to 15. They won't even arrange it how it is. They just put it there. Sometimes they don't even put the names of the song right. They don't put the features right. And you see people that are actively going there and downloading this music. And you know, the Nigerian mentality is so messed up that they feel like they are even doing you a favor from mm. downloading it there. But it's actually illegal. You know, so the only thing I can do is just. <clears throat> Keep it in. And keep it in. But I hope one day or someday, somehow, you know, there should be like it's it's even a situation where if you want to post the music, at least there's how you do the is it tethering or you put like maybe if it's the SoundCloud or the audio yeah, mark, sure, sure. you know, let people listen. At least audio mark is free. Yeah. But I don't know, man. I don't really so because even before the album dropped. I was putting out a couple of singles and I was seeing a lot of people tweet, oh, I just listened to Wahala Day like 100,000 times today. And I responded and I was like, I hope you people play the music a million times and not listening from so, so, so. And in the comments, there were a lot of people saying, ah, we're listening from here. What do you want us to do? You know, country is hard. How many MBs? And like, how many MBs is it to actually stream music? It's, well, you know, I hope one day, some way, somehow, somewhere maybe all the blogs the fake blogs will just catch fire and turn to snap 
on them because <laughs> it's actually it's actually that deep man. It's, it's just like maybe if you ha- you're selling clothes now and you know you say okay a new collection is coming out and somebody somewhere just you know puts it on life for 59 your own design and all that you know, so this one is not even your own design it's the exact same replica content so i don't know man i just hope one day everything will change and we'll, we'll understand the importance of actually streaming and you know getting your music from the proper place where it's properly curated the song is out on every platform all platforms as a matter of fact even youtube it gets paid via youtube yeah like youtube said it's still free so yeah, like so i don't know <laughs> stream the album hit him up on social media yes please and give him feedback yeah peace and love